Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time it is the Endorphi Fluctus 140 PWM ARGB fans. Yes, that is quite a mouthful for fans. Okay, everything in terms of what's included in the overall box as accessories. It comes with four fan screws. It comes with this little manual by here as well as a four pin PWM fan extender. And then we get to the fan. So... The overall bearing type is a fluid dynamic bearing. The overall size is 140 by 140 by 25. That's the overall thickness of the fan. The overall connectors, it is a four pin PWM with a daisy chainable connector on the side, which they call a, a pigtail. Then it comes to the overall RGB, which is a three pin five volt RGB connector with a pigtail for syncing up more than one fan. But remember that you have to be careful syncing up more than three fans will start having problems with the overall signal. I've seen it as well as I've done it, linking up more than three fans. Now, in terms of the overall fan specifications, I can't give you the CFM or anything like that because Endorphi doesn't actually list those online. So when it comes to the overall fan speed, it does go down as low as 250 RPM. And then the highest it goes up to is 1800 RPM. Like I said, the overall fan is a 12 volt. That would be with a fan peak of 0 0.4 amps. And then when it comes to the overall LEDs, which would be 5 volt. But of course, with the peak LED, that would be a 0 0.3 amp. Now, the overall warranty for this fan in particular is 6 years, which is absolutely bonkers to me. And the overall use... They rate it for over a hundred thousand hours of use. Okay, so this is the Fluctus 140 ARGB fans. Now, what I'm going to do is put the mic up towards the fans and pull it away from a distance so you can get the general idea of how it sounds going from up close to a certain distance. So this is 50%. Very quiet at 50% fan speed. Same thing, but 100% fan speed. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, but it actually sounds like one of the bearings in the fan has kind of gone. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Okay then, so you've seen the specifications. Let's get through the benchmark testing. I have done quite a bit of testing. I have tested a 50% and 100% so you guys can actually know if there's a big performance difference when it comes to thermals if you go from 50 to 100. So, at 50% fan speed, the overall RPM of the fans was 1100 RPM. So for Cinebench R23, the idles were 33 Celsius with a max of 85. Blender Pavilion, idles 33, max 
83 Celsius. Blender Classroom idles 33 Celsius with a max of 82. And 3D Mark CP Test idles 33 with a max of 74 Celsius. Now, the fans are 100% fan speed and the overall Cinebench are 23. The idles were 30 Celsius with a max of 83. Blender Pavilion, idles, 30 Celsius with a max of 81. Blender Classroom, idles, 30 with a max of 79 Celsius. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles, 30 Celsius with a max of 71. And the CPU and the test system used in this is a Ryzen 9 5900X with 16 gigs of DDR4 with an RX 7600XT. X570 motherboard, 650 watt power supply, and it's also in the Be Quiet 800 FX case with the 140 Lightwing fans in the front three and one at the back. Okay, then look, you saw the the overall video. Look, all I'm gonna tell you is yes, these fans aren't the overall best fans out there, and fortunately. They do cost £12.50 each. Yeah, saying that, if you heard in the overall noise testing that the bearings on one of these fans have gone, and, and that is unfortunate, but it's one of them things with RGB fans. When they've got a fluid dynamic bearing, if they've been sat for so long, the fluid inside of that bearing can tend to dry up. Now, I have taken the housings off and it doesn't look like the fluid has dried. Maybe it's just an error with the overall bearing type. Now, the performance, of course, you know, there is a big, there's a massive difference, mainly with Blender, Classroom, as well as Pavilion. There's definitely a major difference when it comes to the overall thermals. But Cinebench, not much. There's two degrees. That could be a margin of error, of course. And there's definitely a much more significant loudness when you go from 50 to 100 me unfortunately i'm not a big fan of la uh, very loud fans these aren't the loudest fans i've ever had but these are very they're up there and i don't generally like loud fans i would prefer them at sight at more of a silent but these are 140 so they're going to push a lot more air compared to 120 so you can run these at a lower rpm without sacrificing a lot of thermal output now saying that would i buy a pack no because they aren't my type of fan personally when it comes to rgb i would personally buy a three pack as far as i'm aware from what i've looked online these don't come in a three pack with 140s or even the 120s don't come in a three pack they all come separately for some reason if they've done them in a, a bundle pack of three maybe then that would be different because they could easily charge £30 for three fans, where the other competition out there are charging double that. Look at the Lightwing fans from Be Quiet, for instance. They are £65 for three fans. And, of course, they are better quality. That is definitely the case there. They're better quality and they're a lot quieter. Now, look, don't don't let me put a damper on it look they're good fans but i personally don't think they're worth the money but that's just my opinion whether you take that that is completely up to you i'm just going to say that i'm not going to tell you not to buy them i'm not going to tell you to buy them but if you do want to buy them i will try find links down below i'll also leave the endorphin website so you guys can have a look of course they're going to push more air than a 120 that is what a 140 is better at i mean perhaps the only thing i really like is the rgb as well as the fins they do look like shark teeth and the rgb is actually nice but yeah look i've got loads of stuff here i've got stuff here from thermal right i've got stuff coming from thermal grizzly i've got stuff here from as, as you know, QNAP, there's Toshiba, there's Seagate. There's, there's loads of stuff here. I've got the thermal camera to do. I've got loads of stuff here that I have to review. And I'm also waiting on another side, side little official thing that'll be coming out soon. Hopefully it goes right and I'll be able to bring you more content here, better stuff with more products here. So yeah, make sure you subscribe for that because I, honestly you don't want to miss it. 
from what I'm working on behind the scenes, it's honestly going to make my channel much better. So make sure you subscribe for that. And as always, this is Rich Welshtech. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and week ahead of you. Good. Bye.